Now we need to understand the laws of indices. What exactly are the laws of indices? Now basically it's about how we multiply. Now this particular rule is called same base but different indices but this is when two indices are multiplied. Say for example you have 2 square into 2 cube. Now if you see 2 square is the same as 2 into 2 and this is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2. So ultimately it's 2 multiplied by itself. 2 plus 3 times that is 2 raised to 5. Take another example. 3 square into 3 cube into 3 square again. So we have 3 into 3 into that's 3 square and 3 cube is 3 into 3 into 3 and you have 3 into 3. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 3 raised to 7. The 7 is the same as 2 plus 3 plus 2. So ultimately when you multiply 2 or 3 powers in such a way that the bases are the same but the indices are different. So we write the common base and add up the indices and write. So this is the concept of basic law of indices that is x raised to a into x raised to b is x raised to a plus b. The same way suppose you have x raised to c, x raised to uh, d so it will be x raised to a plus b plus c plus d. But mind you we need to take care here. Candidates have a tendency to make a mistake. x raised to a plus x raised to b is not equal to x raised to a plus b. It's only when you multiply these do we have this. So for example 2 cube into 2 square is nothing but 2 raised to 5. An offshoot of this particular law is this. That is x raised to a upon x raised to b is x raised to a minus b. Let's take a simple example. Suppose you have 2 raised to 7 divided by 2 raised to 5. 2 raised to 7 is nothing but 7. 2 multiplied by itself 7 times. So we have 7 times upon 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, which is ultimately 2 raised to 2, which is basically. 2 raised to 7 minus 5. So it's 2 raised to 7 minus 5. That is the difference in the indices. So when you divide x raised to a by x raised to b, we write the common base. Here, for example, in this case, it's 2 and subtract the indices. And that is what you get as the not net index. So these two are comparable. Here you're multiplying x raised to a into x raised to b. So you add up the indices. Here you're dividing, you subtract the indices. So let's take this for example, 2 raised to 3 upon 2 square is nothing but 2 raised to 3 minus 2, which is nothing but 2 raised to 1, which can be written as 2. So these are the first two rules. That is, both of them involve the same base, but different indices. In case of division, you write the common base and write the difference of the indices. In case of multiplication, you write the common base and you write the sum of the indices. Now, let's see what the next law is. Here, it's the other way around. So, here, it is different bases, same index. So, in that case, you multiply the bases and write the common index. Let's take an example. For example, we have 2 cube into 3 cube. 2 cube into 3 cube can be written as 2 into 3 the whole cube. Now we can check it up and see whether they are equal. 2 cube is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 which is 8 into 27. And this is going to be 6 cube. 2 into 3, 6 the whole cube. This is going to be 216 and this is also 216. Both these are equal. So this is almost the opposite of the previous rules. There the bases were the same, the indices were different. So we wrote the common base and summed up the indices. Here the indices are the same but the bases are different. So we multiplied the bases and wrote the common index. So it is this way. 
we have x y the whole same x tends to even see suppose it's x raised to y y raised to a into z raised to a so we write as x y z raised to a now this is the third law now we have one more law over here that is power of power law now here it is x raised to a the whole raised to m is x raised to a n let's take an example say for example 3 square the whole cube 3 square the whole cube can be written as 3 square into multiplied by itself one more time into multiplied by itself one more times and if you use the original rule common base different indices add up all of them you get 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 and this 6 is obtained by multiplying 2 into 3 so 3 raised to 2 the whole raised to 3 is 3 raised to 2 into 3 that is 3 raised to 6 mind you it's not 3 raised to 2 q it's not 3 raised to 8 so whenever you have the power of a power we multiply the two indices and write the common base so thus we have application of this particular so fourth formula is power of power rule so x raised to a the whole raised to m is x raised to a m then a very important rule of index that x raised to minus a now often candidates have a tendency to think x raised to minus a is a negative number not so x raised to minus a means 1 upon x raised to a say for example we have 2 raised to minus 3 is the same as 1 upon 2 q that's nothing but 1 upon 8 so 2 raised to minus 3 is 1 upon 2 q which is 1 upon 8 so whenever you have a negative index you have you just write it like this 1 upon 2 q so similarly say 4 raised to minus 5 can be written as 1 upon 4 raised to 5 okay so that's one thing another rule that is there is a concept of what you mean by the root rule so for example suppose there is a number say for example 8 or say 27 is 3 cube that means cube root of 27 is 3 in other words we can write this 27 the same thing can be written as 27 raised to 1 by 3 is 3 in other words suppose you want to find cube root of some number say 64 it is the same as telling 64 raised to 1 by 3 cube root of 125 can be written as 125 raised to 1 by 3 say fifth root of 32 will be written as 32 raised to 1 by 5 and this of course is 4 this is 5 and this is 2 so nth root of any number so in simple ways it means that nth root of any number a is nothing but a raised to 1 by n simple concept and another very important rule that is x raised to 0 is 1 any number raised to 0 is 1, 3 raised to 0 is 1, 2 raised to 0 is 1, 1 1.235 raised to 0 is also 1, root 2 raised to 0 is 1, root 7 raised to 0 is 1. So any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So these again have, are the various laws of 